Okay, I can do this. Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Vernon Shaw with Hot Pepper Gaming. Today we're going to be reviewing the Yogg. But before we do that, I'm going to have a... Uh, this is something Aaron made, actually. It's a shot of um, Professor Fart Pounder's colon cleaner. Um, and the shot glass is a habanero pepper. And I'm actually not going to take it as a shot. I'm just going to eat it. So, I got a sort of... Oh, 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 got it. All right. Here's looking at you, internet. Mmm. No, this isn't okay. Get it down. Oh my god. No. <coughs> So the Yogg is a choose-your-own-adventure game by Damien Sumner with art and writing oh, by the wonderful Emily Carroll. Her, her art's great. I'm a big fan. Been a big fan for a while. The story goes is that the Yogg, whatever the Yogg is, is coming in within six weeks. So every week, you know, there's a bunch of choices for you to do. There's four characters. There's up to four players. Play it with friends. It's really fun. Oh my god. So every week you choose something to do. You can either go to the garden, or you can go to the forest, or you can go to the palace, or you can go to the alchemy lab, or you can go to the... And then you have choices of what you want to do when you're there. And there's always a story item that happens. It's really well, well written, well written, well written. Really well written. It's funny. It's cute. There's a lot of fun things to do. And there's always a choice thing that happens, or there's always a story event that happens. bad um so what happens is that every week after week the story builds on itself you always have the choices and things that happen earlier on they come back and you learn something and you build a story and at the end of the game which only really takes about 10 to 30 minutes to play you have a really nice story that's happened and you look at your story and you're like oh this is good and it's sweet it's funny it's also kind of melancholic it's just a good story and it's sort of like it's randomly generated and you feel, kind of feel good about that Play it with a lot of friends, and play it out loud. You get a lot of laughs. It's really cute. Oh. <sighs> you know, it's not a perfect game, but for what it is, I really like it. And I think it's a really important thing that we have as a game. And uh, if you're like me, and you have three other friends like me, you're gonna love the game. It's basically the Decemberist, the video game, and that's awesome. I give the Yogg 5 out of 5 peppers, and I give that horrifying habanero shot with the colon cleaner a 5 out of 5 peppers. Can I have some milk please? We didn't pour the milk, did we? We didn't pour the milk. No. We didn't pour the milk. I'm gonna stall while we wait for the milk. Thanks for, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking along. We've grown really, pa really we've grown really quickly this far. Eh been sort of hard, you know, keeping up with that, and I don't know, you guys just really make it worth it. All the people on Twitter who talk to us and all the people who comment to us, like, I really feel close okay, to you guys. You <sighs> make sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Jesus, fuck! Make sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe to Hot Pepper Gaming. Be sure to check us out on Twitter. I myself run the Twitter. I like to think I do a pretty good job at it. Also, follow us on our Regular old Twitter is I'm at Vernon Shaw, Aaron behind the camera is at Ishmo, Jared, who was so bad at pouring the milk, is at no Not Quite Frodo. You don't have to follow him. Um, but yeah, thanks. Check out a lot of videos. We have a bunch of videos here. They're not here right now. The editor.